How does it look? The hydrate tube is calibrated. Docking now. Pressure box is arrested. Why am I not informed about the dives anymore? What's going on? As soon as the probe grasps, close the box and come back up. We'll start with a 25% opening. Kremlin, we have to do a pressure test first. My safety analysis states clearly that- A quarter opening. Now. Is there a problem, Court? Forty percent, but slowly. Seventy-five. We need at least three seconds for an emergency shutdown. Pressure potential is too much. How high is the valve flow? 30 liters per second. It's holding stagnant. Hold on. 40. It's raising to 70. Nice. It's getting turbulent down here. 120. It's at 190, that's not good. What's the spectroscope read? Nothing, no methanhydrate! Damn it. There has to be. You have to shut it down. Someone get this asshole off my bridge right now. Kremlin, your behavior is irresponsible! Yes. Hold the damn bell! This tin can can't take it! What's the probe reading? Damn it, what's the probe reading? Anything? Yes, for Christ's sake! Good. Shut it down. This is not some simple little fossil fuel, like oil, gas, or coal. No, my friends, this is the future. And it begins here, right now, with us! Back to the happy vacationers in Silt. It's a lovely 26 degrees Celsius with a cool, slow breeze from the southwest. Water temperatures in Campin, Orinum, and List are relaxing 21. And for you lucky retirees in Waterland, we have 23 degrees. Well, how the 
Isn't this view just breathtaking? And you wanted to come by train. What were you thinking? The whole world takes a train to Silk, but not my husband. <laughs> Horst is right. When arriving on an island or picking up a whore, make your vessel large! <laughs> John Heinrich, the surf shop is closed. I recommend going to Hunzi Surf Shop in Westerland, although it is more expensive. Hello, John. Uh, don't forget to pick up the Benskis from the port today. Repeating guests are a rarity lately. Okay, I trust you won't forget. <laughs> Look there, Gertrude. That's a good one. Oh, Horst. <laughs> John, I've had it with you. The one time I trust you in my life. The Fenskys waited for over an hour at the port for my dear brother. Thanks for all your help. Frank. Sorry, I completely forgot. I'll go now. You don't have to. They took a taxi. Frank, I'm sorry. At the moment, it's just... At the moment? This moment has lasted for the past two years, and I have always been more than considerate. But I'm really counting on you and need your help now. And when you see Lisa, tell her to come over to my place. Will do. Oh, and Frank, uh, can I take a shower at your place? Torben shut off my water again. Do what you want, but we start at eight. Start what at eight? <sighs> you forgot Helge's birthday party. Ah, uh, Frank, I didn't forget, I just... It doesn't matter. I have work to do. Your trophies? Are you insane? You don't throw something like that away. It's the perfect feeding bowl for a stinker. <laughs> yes. Oh boy, Torben. Asshole alarm. Lisa, damn it, keep this flea bag away from me. Stinker doesn't have fleas. Listen, John, tell me. Why haven't you cleared the shop out? I have things to do. What things? Pick up whores or drink yourself into a coma? Torben, listen, don't talk like that in front of my niece. This really isn't a joke now, John. If the shop's not cleared out, by tomorrow, I'll be throwing your shit in the garbage. Who do you think you are, the Godfather? Get your fat ass in your fancy car and go and bother someone else. Hmm. Don't be jealous. If you were smarter, you'd have the same, wouldn't you? A fat ass? Just keep talking. I know who I am. A man who goes forward in life. Not a fucked up surfer who lets his own girlfriend drown. Son of a bitch! I'll sue you! I swear, this is the last time you'll take a shit on this island! You want to have breakfast with a hero? Sure. Kremlik, they're making T4 explosives on the deck after I thought that we had agreed there would be only drilling. Drilling takes too long. We have to blast. Kremlik, you're crazy. We have no clue how the hydrate reacts to explosives. Then we'll just have to risk a blowout. Simple as that. I'm not talking about some blowout. I'm talking about a chain reaction that we can't control. Should a thermocausal induction happen during the explosion? Your thermocausal induction is only a theory. I can't support your actions anymore, Kremlik. So what? The board members do. You never forwarded my risk analysis to the members of the board? Dr. Bland's didn't find it necessary. 
What's wrong, Wheelan? You want to save some poor species from extinction? Okay. You leave me no other choice. Be assured, Dr. Wurthenbach. We are supporting the work of the Environmental Agency. Even if your young and eager assistant doesn't seem to think so. Dr. Blantz, of course we appreciate your cooperation and all of the support you're giving us. Young Miss Schweiger is only looking to enhance and improve the communications between us. Dr. Blantz, for the past four months, Alpha Gas ignored all inquiries regarding Ransom 4. The inquiries submitted were not clear and specific enough. In paragraph 156... The risk analysis studied on your research was found to be more than insufficient. It doesn't state what kind of impact the explosions will have to the ocean floor as sediment. I unsuccessfully tried to get the data from your environmental agent, Dr. Weiland. Christian Wieland, Ransom 4. Mm. I haven't even been able to arrange a meeting with him for four months now. Well, it would go much faster. If next time you would fill out the appropriate forms, wouldn't it? If you are in a hurry, you must walk slow. Confucius. <laughs> <laughs> One could only suspect, with all this information you have, Alpha Gas has something to hide with Rantum 4. My dear girl, I can only assure you that with Rantum 4, we are completely optimizing the oil drilling technique. It's been completely safe for 20 years, and it'll stay that way. But please, Mr. Roeder, make sure that Miss Schweiger gets her appointment with Dr. Veland as soon as possible. Well, I would say this was a productive meeting after all, wasn't it? Thank you so much for all your patience, Dr. Blantz. Don't worry about it. Svenja, I don't think that you know what a sensitive issue this can be with regards to energy politics. I do, but for months now we have been watching how Alpha Gas disregards all environmental laws. I suspect that with all these explosions, they're looking for something more than oil. We have to talk to Dr. Wyland. Why are you so aggressive? You're always having to prove yourself. That's what's disrupting your communication. Disrupting my communication? This is naive idealism. You always are banging your head against the wall. I give you one more week to come up with some evidence. If not, I'll have to close the investigation on Alpha Gas. One week? That's not enough. And I am warning you about working alone on this. Do you understand? I'll see you in Brussels. What information do we have on this troublemaker? Svenja Schweiger studied hydrology, specialized in water progression and aquatic movement. Her mother died of leukemia. Her family sued the atomic plant in Neufeld. But the case was dismissed. A frustrated idealist. Rhoda, make sure that she doesn't get anywhere near Dr. Veland. Is that understood? Dr. Blands? What's the matter? You're meeting with Mr. Kramlik. Oh. It seems that the Americans have acquired detailed information on our studies. Apparently, we have a security leak on our project. Wieland. Are you sure? He's been trying to stop us. Then solve the problem. Where is Wieland now? On his way to Silk. He has a vacation day. I have to go to Hamburg. I want a solution to the problem when I get back. Here. Make a copy of this paper for our American friends. It's the latest project data. Time for payback. Okay, guys. Fish must swim. Cheers. 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 <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. We must. We must. What's going on here? I thought you were celebrating. <laughs> Christian! <laughs> I thought you were out on the platform. It wasn't easy to get here. Hi. Hello. 
This is from John and myself. It's beautiful. It's another one from Hure and Sons. Where did you find this wonderful thing? John, I want you to take it with you. A compass has to travel on a voyage where you don't know where it's going to end. A voyage? A voyage without a destination is more like an escape. Let him be, Franca. Back then it was great for me when I left Spandau. Right. An inch away to Kopenick. Well, back then travel was different. <laughs> yes. In bad weather you can tell who's a good sailor. She's right. I'm leaving her alone here, with the hotel and the fucking mortgage. You know, it's Franca's life. You have to get back on your feet again. I'm worried about you. And so is Franca. She called me immediately after she found out that you're flying to Hawaii. To that damn beach. She doesn't understand. Hey, nobody understands. After two years. You have to leave that behind you. And the Kalua Beach is the worst place for that. You know... I have the feeling that's the only place I can start over again. You still blame yourself for Sarah's death. Even traveling around the world wouldn't change that. It'll follow you everywhere. Sarah was a brilliant surfer. Better than the two of us together. She knew what risks she was taking back then. I should have never let her go out alone and ride that 20-foot wave. I wish I would have convinced the judges to stop the contest. She still would have done it. She was more crazy about riding that wave than you. That morning at the beach, I looked at the ocean and knew that something would happen. I had a feeling I should have warned her. Bullshit. The ocean wasn't normal. Did you know that an Akashi wave only happens once every 44 years? Why did it have to be that day? John, it's statistics. No. This wave was not a statistic. It was fate. Come with me. You could take care of me. Hmm? <laughs> if you only knew how much I'd like that right now. Just to escape. You want to go fishing tomorrow with Helg like old times? I bet he just overslept. I'll go get him.
Morning. Good morning. Christian? Diplomat passport. Is that something political, your environmental agency? It's part of the environmental department. We investigate the safety standards of the energy companies. And what brought you to SILT? Looking for Dr. Wyland? Christian Wyland was the environmental specialist for Alpha Gas. I had a few questions regarding risk analysis. Okay, Ms. Schweiger. That will be all for now. Where are you staying? Hotel Maritim Westerland. Mm -hmm. External forces can be ruled out here. Definite smell of alcohol. I'm sure we'll find it in his blood. Why do you think the back door was open? Perhaps he didn't close it when he came in. Why would he enter through the back door? Did you find the apartment key with him? Yes, this one. But it doesn't lock the back door. That doesn't mean anything. Officer, why would Christian use the back door with his front door key? I think you should leave now. We'll call you when we need you. Are you okay? Can you take me with you to Westerland? Sure. What did you need from Christian? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to talk about investigations with outside people. Outside? Outside in a company sense. We have strict rules in our agency. Wyland never talked to you about any of his work for Alpha Gas before? His projects were confidential, I'm sure you know that. Yes, but you two were very close friends. And that makes us chat about any secrets? Even if you and your city paranoia couldn't imagine, friendship <laughs> out here doesn't mean that you tell everything to each other. My city paranoia, aha. Uh -huh. Is your stupid look part of island living, or are you a special case? Stop the car. I'll get out right here. I'm sorry, did I insult some of your island pride? No, we're here. Way to go, Svenja. Brilliant communication.
Hello. Yes. If I can't reschedule my flight, I would have to cancel. Uh, can I do it by email? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You are not going? No. I'd like to take care of Christian services. I think you'd like to have a funeral, let's see. If you like, come over to our place. Okay. Thank you. Hello, John. When you get this email, it means something has gone wrong. Deliver the attached documents to the director of the EU in Brussels. Sorry, but you're the only one I can trust 100%. Explosions, A to C are ready. It's a two second interval. Start the countdown by T plus three. Three, two, one, zero. Wow. My God, the field is enormous. I'll enlarge it. We're much too close. Do you have to complain again, Cortna? The hydrate field is much bigger than expected. We're way too close to the field with our explosives. Come on, relax. Everything will be fine. We have intense sediment movement. What if we triggered a thermocausal induction? We should contact Dr. Wyland. Damn it, that's enough! We will dive down and inspect it. Good work. Drinks are on me. Good morning. Good morning. Gets up to 45 again. The whole day. Five euros. Thank you. Yes. And don't forget sunscreen. You don't want to get burned. You know that that's forbidden. The hotel clerk said you would be here. And? You came to say goodbye again? Take a look at these. This is a project report from Alpha Gas. Did you get that from... From Christian Wieland. I got it after his death, by email. 
It was a scheduled delivery. He wrote the email two days ago. He was still on the platform. It looks like an ecological risk analysis. What kind of risk? Risks in the production of methane hydrate. Methane hydrate? What's that? Methane gas frozen in ice under pressure. And what's the risk? Methane hydrate is very unstable. That's why there's no reliable production yet. And those alpha gas people are developing it? Not officially. Alpha gas never got their permits issued from the department. Okay. I think so. Oh god, that was at least 45 feet. I have to go to my sister's house. Wait for me! Horse, come on. Franka! Uh, uh, oh. Franka! Uh, uh, oh. Uh, Right horse. Everything came all right. Directly from the beach. That must have been a huge, huge breaker. I don't want to know what it looks like down there now. Pelt is at the beach. What? Horse. Blocked. He's taking in too much water. 
The saturation is down to 80. You'll have to wait out here. exact cause for the immense tidal wave that hit the coastline and caused massive damage earlier this morning. However, experts suspect tectonic activities triggered the underwater sea quake. Even though there has never been any data on previous activity a in the North Sea, international but experts can cannot be? rule out this is a one-time shift in the Earth plates. Eyewitnesses report that 30 to 45 foot waves struck the western coast of Silt. The exact estimate of the damage cannot be measured yet. Although we know there have been extensive injuries and many casualties with more to be expected as details unfold. Forget those stupid television experts. I know we can rule out a sea quake 100%. Why? A tectonic activity of this size would have presented itself in a specific reading. I analyzed the seismograph readings for the past nine hours and I couldn't find anything. If there is no sign of a sea quake, it could only be triggered by another impulse. An explosion. Huh. More like an implosion on the ocean floor, over a large-scale area. In any case, there has to be a trigger point that would cause something like that. Can you locate it? First, I would need the exact direction that the waves were traveling. Then, if I uh, could get some satellite pictures, I could locate the epicenter. The profile comparison shows that the ocean floor imploded up to 36 feet in some areas. My god, Mr. Wyland was right. Bullshit. It was just a routine blowout. It has nothing to do with the wave. A blowout? In an area of four square miles? That's almost 4% of the hydrate field. So, what happens if the remaining 96% implodes as well? We have to get rid of the explosives. We are sitting on a time bomb here. It won't be long before the Council and the environmental agencies put two and two together. They'll know exactly that it was us. My god, we could go to prison for this! Max! Get a hold of yourself. I'm informing the company immediately. You won't do anything, Cortner. How precise do you need the direction of the wave, man? You don't have to be so formal. After all, you saved my life earlier. Thanks again. Again, how precise do you need the direction? Exactly to the degree. The only thing that I can make out here is that the wave started on the open sea. Good observation. What do you do with your hydraulic studies? We explore the laws of water dynamics. Waves, water, pressure. And is the water always eager to follow your laws? Yes. Water patterns are always logical. Right here was Helge's house. Now it's over there. So then... 308 degrees. So let's check it out. Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Epicenter! A large area, a lot of water disturbance. What do you know about Ransom 4? Alpha gas. Exactly. Svenja. Do you know something here? Nothing specific. Not yet. To measure the ocean floor with an eco-signal, you have to blast small explosives. And isn't that dangerous? Usually it's not. But as your friend had suspected, those blasts could have caused a methane hydrate explosion. And Christian was trying to warn them exactly that that would happen. Why would an oil company have any interest in methane hydrate? Because in about... 
40 years from now, this will be the only fossil fuel supply left. That means alpha gas doesn't have a future without it. Sooner or later, every company will need access to hydrate fields. It seems Christian was a real problem for them. <sighs> every energy company has to expect those risk analysis. They wouldn't kill someone over it. And as long as they haven't started production, the hydrates wouldn't be a real danger to anyone anyway. Now what if Alpha Gas is already searching for methane hydrate? Why is no one out there controlling them? Because now it's only a suspicion. Without proof, we can't do anything against Alpha Gas. Then we'll go get proof on Alpha Gas. On their platform. Helicopter? Are you completely insane now? You need at least three different permits to be allowed to fly over international waters. Denied, Miss Feiger. But Mr. Weather and Bach, we have to find out if Alpha Gas is searching for methane hydrate at Ransom 4. If we could go there and find traces of hydrate there, then- Enough, Miss Feiger. There is not the smallest inclination of hydrate present. I'll expect the final report from you in two days. Such a fucking- And? What do the regulations say? Just don't ask him for his license. Better that you don't talk at all. He doesn't like women like you. What do you mean, women like me? Morning, Holger. You didn't tell me about her. That's not a problem, right? Women, my friend, are always a problem. Okay. Two passengers, double the price. She better not puke. Front wind. Why are we flying so low? So the radar can't detect us. That means we're flying under the radar? But that's illegal. Lady, I can always return and you'll swim. What's that? That's a spectroscope. You can trace even the smallest amount of methane hydrate with it. I see. And you think they'll just let you analyze their samples? They have to. The law requires them to allow inspections. Well, I only hope they know your laws. What's going on? We have a problem, Kromlik. If it's the wave again. You are the problem. Alpha Gas will not take any responsibility for your actions. My actions? Our legal department notified us that Dr. Veland informed you about the risks of any blasting well ahead of time. That's bullshit. You know his report. You said to get rid of him. I only asked you to detect the security leak in our company and solve it. Nothing else. We're on the same boat here. I'll make sure of it. I am sure that the courts will agree that you've just been covering up for a spy. Your American friends handed us this report today. Alpha Gas will immediately hand you over to the police. We are only waiting for the replacement team. <laughs> Do you people really think that you could get rid of me that easily after all the dirty work I did for you? What's that? 
I'll give you an account number, and I fully expect you to deposit 10 million euros in no later than two hours otherwise. I will detonate all the explosives together. And that will be a real wave. You would never... Would you take the risk of such a catastrophe, Blunts? Two hours. And leave your people at home. We will shoot down anything in the sky that gets too close to the platform. The plans will continue. Is everyone here? Very good. So people, you were great, and therefore you can now take a break. Anyone who tries to break the door open will get shot. So, don't try and be a hero. It's a little quiet down there, don't you think? Rantum 4, this is Charlie 308, requesting to land. Rantum 4, can you hear me? Just land. I'll take the responsibility. I could lose my license. I'm giving you authorization. No way! Anyway, you don't even have a license. John, tell this stupid cow to... Her. She didn't mean it. You can land here. She really can authorize you. I could even confiscate your helicopter if you'd like me to. John, tell this stupid goat to... I have to land. Do it for Christian. Tell her to say please. What? Are we back to kindergarten? Tell her she should say please. Svenja, say please. For Christ's sake. Now, we land. What's this? I have another flight to the Belta too. After lunch, I'll pick you up. What? Can we trust that this guy will come back again? You can't. Life's full of surprises, lady. Now close the door. Close it. Now close the door. Let's go. Welcome to Ransom 4. If you would please follow me. A spectroscope. That's special. What was it you were searching for, Ms. Schweiger? We highly suspect that you are illegally searching for methane hydrate for alpha gas. Because of your damn explosions, you started that wave. I am no longer working for alpha gas. The police are already informed. They are right behind us. The game is over. Oh no. The game is over when the game is over. 
Not when the rules change. You bastards murdered Christian Wieland. You can't get away with that. Murdered? <laughs> Are you sure this Echo activist didn't just accidentally fall? <laughs> It's never too good to be a hero. You'll now learn this lesson. Get in there. Are you okay? Is that? They're sucking all the air out. What? Shit, they're sucking all the air out! Oh my god, we have to get out! My god! Uh, shit! Svenja, uh, uh. Svenja, step back! They... they just can't do that! They're going to suffocate us in here! Shit! Svenja! I Get out! Svenja, you have to stay calm, okay? We have to save oxygen, okay? do it sometimes. the hydraulic locks. With some luck, the door might open. Chris. No, please, no! I'm only helping! Who are you? Max Kortner, tactical engineer. They locked me up in my cabin, but I was able... I was able to escape. What's happened? We ignited the hydrate field with those damn explosives. Thank God only a small area, though. If the entire hydrate field would have imploded, the flood wave would have been enormous. The whole area, it's like a ticking time bomb, as long as all the explosives are still down there. Okay, we need a radio contact to the mainland. All communications are made from up on the main bridge. Okay, then let's go! The ignition of the explosives will go through a satellite using this phone. No matter where we are, just a push of a button, 
Aloha, the wave. I don't have a good feeling about this. I mean, they're armed. And? So are we. I'm sure the police are informed about what's going on. I mean, we have regulations for these situations. Exactly. That's why we have to inform them, so they won't do anything unnecessary. Fair trade. You know how to use that? And an old air gun. They're all the same. with the remaining explosives. Oh, they're still there. But one push of a button, and then they're gone. Kind of a guarantee for my free escape and some financial freedom. I'll kill them and we will escape. I'll meet you at the helicopter. Don't have this sad look. You did your best, but not enough. Brock, listen, it, it doesn't make any sense for you to kill us. But it doesn't hurt if we do. I don't know. No! A serious problem here. Now, how do we escape? I would like to check on account one four seven two two four. NX3. Thank you. Are you sure? That's the latest balance? Thank you. Why do people only take you serious when you start hurting them? Lanz, this has now become your problem. Were you really thinking? That with all your bluffing, you could get millions of euros just like that? As soon as you land, the police will take you into custody, Cromley. The police will soon have some other problems. And so will you. Aloha. Aloha? Aloha.
He did it! Damn it, we have to warn Sills. They have no idea what's about to happen. this again I expect that this single impulse will begin a constant chain of waves probably five to six waves with a height of 12 feet thank God it's not a mega wave I wouldn't bet on it I'm afraid that we could see the affected overlap discovered by Gauss a what the shallowness of the North Sea could eventually build one gigantic wave out of the series of smaller waves before silt the computer is still calculating Hallelujah. What is it? The island is right behind the peak. That's the point where all the small waves break and will form the large wave. How large? If the entire hydrate field imploded and with constant streams in the ocean... How large? We have to expect a wave of about 60 to 75 feet in height. Oh, shit. When... If we compare it with the last wave, I would say we have about two hours before it reaches shore. Evacuation? Poker, hurry up! We have to get back to Franca! Listen, Svenja. The experts confirm some seismographic activity, but no one can really believe that a wave of this capacity could actually happen. Damn it, Mr. Weatherenbach, you have to take me serious this time. But I did try my best, my dear. The Secretary of Internal Affairs would declare Silt the disaster zone in about 30 minutes. They are opening up all available crisis centers at the Hydraulic Institute and preparing for the injured. Senya, I hope you're aware of what you started here. How far to Silt? Silt? I have to go to Kiel to the headquarter for civil defense. Not without Frank, Elise, and Helge. How much farther? If this tailwind holds, in about two hours. That's a half an hour before the wave. John, that's insane. Why then everyone should be evacuated anyway. I don't trust it. I have to make sure. You can just leave me there and continue on. Holy mother of God. That's only three waves, not six. Wolfgang is right. They're starting to merge. And growing. They look perfect. Closed off, wide top, constant stream, like they're drawn with a ruler. Just like Akashi's. They don't even look dangerous. Just wait until they hit land. They're monsters. Holger, I need a connection to the mainland to Frank cell. How does this work? Don't touch that! No one touches anything! The wave didn't do it. But Sister Rabiata with her thrombosis injections will be the death of me, I'll tell you. You really gave me a big scare back there. Mm-hmm. A little water like that can't do anything to an old sailor like me. Have you ever heard a knocking at the door? Turn on the TV, there's another one coming.
Department of Internal Affairs has ordered an immediate evacuation of the island of Silt around 20 minutes ago. Its secretary has already declared the small island a disaster zone, and emergency plans are now in effect immediately as hospitals I think it's best if you pick up Lisa and take the train to Nibu. And you? Don't worry about me here. Sister Rabiata will take good care of me. The helicopter is registered under India Gulf 2206 with a logo from Alpha Gas. He's flying under the radar at the moment. We think he's heading towards Hamburg. The people on board are considered armed and very dangerous. We'll change its silt. With this helicopter, we don't stand a chance. No. You okay? It still fucking hurts. Why don't you try to call Franca's cell phone? I already did that. The networks are busy. If the transporter comes and Franca is not ready, you go ahead with Lisa and I'll wait here. Oh no, Horst Fenske. The two of us will leave the island together or not at all. There is no reason for you to play a hero. Well, it's just an idea. Yes, and a stupid one. Stinker, here! Come back! Lisa! Stinker! Lisa! The transporter will be picking us up soon! Lisa! Lisa! Lisa, come back! evacuation, as panicked reactions are currently playing a role as a big problem on the island. Since 1927, Silt has only been connected through a single train line to the mainland. An immediate train evacuation is not possible at this time, as the distance between the island and the mainland would take around 40 minutes. Currently, there is only one train that will be able to leave the island before the wave arrives. Therefore, a complete evacuation of silt is impossible, and there is no way we can predict how many people will still be trapped and occupy the island once the wave reaches the shoreline. Holger, try again to get hold of Franca. Damn it, what do you think I'm doing? All the lines are busy. Nothing is working. Hey, I am sure they're on the mainland by now. Is that the fuel gauge? <laughs> Don't panic. It's only for the right tank. But the other one's also empty. We'll be fine till silt. Till silt? And then? There's nothing better than a nice place in the sun, right? As soon as the buses arrive, they'll pick you up. So that's why you took us up on the roof. So we can get down to the buses faster? Ha! <laughs> You know, sister, it's like being at war. The young ones go first, and the old and disabled later. Or not at all. Our problem could get even bigger than we'd expected. What do you mean, bigger? The wave is getting bigger. Wolfgang, 75 feet is as high as I would imagine. Listen. In front of the island is a sharp embankment. The Dogger Bank. Exactly, the Dogger Bank. It's like the ideal 90-foot deep underwater ski jump for a wave. And it will enhance its strength and double its height. That means another 60 to 75 feet up top. 150? Yes. A 150-foot wave is approaching silt. Peak season. There are about 150,000 people on the island. 
Without a total evacuation, no one has a chance. Isn't there anything we can do, anything at all, to try to stop that damn wave? Not a chance. Each cubic meter of water has the strength equal to a full ton. What happens once the wave hits silt? Tsunamis are extremely dangerous. They usually break late, not until they hit the land. Silt only has an elevation of 33 feet at its highest point. That probably means the wave won't break at all. Are you saying that this damn wave will just crash over silt? Would you have a chance to survive in the basement? Maybe you can escape from the direct hit, but not the pressure. A 60-foot wave would develop a pressure of three to four bar. No one can survive that. How much longer? 35 minutes. And the wave? 50 minutes. Maybe 60. 50 minutes? That's not enough time for an evacuation. You got lucky, Franco. We wouldn't have waited for you. What's this then? Oh my god, Franca. Lisa is gone. I've searched everywhere and can't find her. Tell me it's not true. She followed her dog about half an hour ago towards the dunes. We have to go find her. Franca, the last train leaves in 20 minutes to the mainland. I have my responsibility. Okay. Gertrude, get on the truck. I'll find Lisa and follow you somehow. That's stupid! In 50 minutes, the wave will be here. Franca, you have to come with us. I am not leaving without my child. Right. Not without Lisa. We'll help you. Six eyes are better than two. Right, Gertrude? Exactly. Come on! Currently, there are only a few evacuation flights allowed over Silt, and we can't get any live footage for our viewers at this moment. We just received the first satellite images in from our Meteosat. At the Crisis Center, we welcome Dr. Olpin from the Hydraulic Institute. Dr. Olpin, what does the footage show us? The footage was taken about 12 minutes ago. In the enlargement, we can see that the wave has taken on one big structure about 70 nautical miles outside of Silt. We think its current height is about 75 feet. We are afraid that the height will double as soon as the wave reaches the Dogger Bank. And when will that be? We estimate in about 35 to 40 minutes. And we are in the front row. I can't get a connection to Franca. Okay. Wolfgang said earlier that the main wave is made out of several smaller waves. Yes, a so-called pike. And that's happening right before Silt. After that peak, the wave will break into smaller ones again. Yeah, if there's enough space. Then we only have to find the peak and put it in front of the wave and break it before it's silt. Svenja, I've seen pretty big waves and a single surfer is able to break them down with his board. Waves are very sensitive systems and it doesn't take much to alter and break them. This is not just a regular wave that we're dealing with. A tsunami is just another fucking wave. You can alter it and get it out of its rhythm. Damn it, we have to at least try it. The man's not fantasizing. Even if you have a little knowledge about waves, I mean, you'd know his idea is logical. Can you please explain that again? One moment. There is the helicopter. Hey, people. I just calculated. With the pressure of the wave about 80 kilonewtons, our wave would really have to struggle. That sounds like a lot of explosives. If we use the T2 mines, I wouldn't be too worried, but the mines are too spread out to have any effect on it. I wouldn't know how to bundle them together in order to create the energy needed. That's the problem. Without the condensed energy, we don't get enough buoyancy. 
The explosion wouldn't appear to be more than just a fart in the tub. Well, what if we use the dogger bank? It's very steep on both sides. Every year, several fishing boats get stuck there. We can use the bank like a cannon, John. Maybe the sand would give in a bit, but the scattered angle wouldn't be more than 70%. But we don't have much time. We would have to bring the mines in position immediately. I can have the Gromit ship in about 20 minutes reaching the Dogger Bank. All right, guys. This is our only chance, so let's use it. Maybe someone took her over to the east side of the island. I... don't want to say it, but... but we should slowly... Lisa! Mama! Lisa! Oh... Hey, Franca, nice job keeping an eye on your kid. Stinker ran to the campground. He was just afraid of the helicopters. Oh. Hey. Hello? Hello? Thank God, Franca. Where are you? We're going to the east side of the island. No, Franca. Listen. You don't have any chance on the east side. They already stopped the trains. Franca, you have to go to Hernam on Helge's boat. By sea? Are you insane? Franca, the wave will roll over Silt. Sail towards the wave. Listen carefully. If you hurry up, you can catch the wave before it gets too tall. That boat can take an angle of 45 to 50 degrees. If you take the wave head on. Sail towards the wave. Go to the Dogger Bank. That's your only chance. The last train is already on its way to Nibu. We'll need other transportation to reach the mainland. Come on, Brock. We'll make it to the mainland with the boat. <coughs> I think this is the end of my voyage. Good luck. Not too close to the water. I want to go to the east side, to Kaitum, or Masu. I don't want to go to see that suicide. I'll sue, I'll sue you all for kidnapping me. Damn it, be careful with the gears. Gertrude, come! Hurry! And? And what if John is wrong? Gertrude, if my brother knows anything, he knows about waves, and of that I'm sure. <sighs> Lisa, show them where the life jackets are.
There it is. The Gromitz. Charlie Delta 308. This is the captain of the SS Gromitz. Come in. Delta Charlie 308 Gromitz. We can hear you. Permission to land, but be careful of the waves. Uh, yeah, sure. Shithead. Welcome aboard. We have 30 minutes to discharge. Currently, we're calculating the exact time for detonation. How are you calculating that? I made a profile of the wave and marked it with GPS. As soon as the wave hits the bank, we will automatically activate the explosives here. With GPS, we have a deviation of about 15 to 30 feet. That won't work. If we ignite 30 feet too early, the whole thing is like empty air. 30 feet after doesn't work either. We can only destroy the wave if we hit it in its weakest point, Captain. And where exactly would that spot be? As a surfer, you always look for the strongest point. That's the point where the surface speed is the highest, here. The weakest point is where the surface speed is lowest, here. That's where we have to place the explosion, at the base of the wave, in front of the wave's cone. How in God's name do you expect to find that spot? Like surfing, by looking at the surface structure and the color with plain eyesight. It'll never work. Just listen, mark the water with buoys where the mines are, and we'll see where they explode. That wouldn't be more imprecise than the computer. What was the tallest wave you ever surfed? 29 feet. Almost two minutes in Belhara Reef. Okay, good. You will circle the helicopter on top of the bank and give us the command for the ignition. Keep the helicopter right over the buoys. I hope this fucking wave doesn't decide to take its time. You sure you can do it? I mean, are you sure you can? You're not only trusting your instincts? You've got a better idea? direction. I'll take it from here. There's a boat down there. Headed towards the mainland. That's the little Dan. What? They're going the wrong direction. Attention. Attention, Lily Dan. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Hold, go, go lower. We have to get them. John, we only have seven minutes left. Yes. We can hear you. Thanks. Everything is all right. We don't need any help. We have to go towards the wave, you idiot. Holga, bring me down. You've... you've got to give me the signal. Svenja, if that idiot doesn't turn the boat towards the wave, then it'll break apart. I have to go down there. I'll give the signal over the radio. Kramlik is armed for sure. What if something happens to you? Then you have to take over the command. Listen, you give the signal when the wave is 450 feet in front of the buoy. No sooner or no later. John, I can't do that. I don't even know where to start. Svenja, you can do it. I trust you, and you have to trust me now. Here. Take this flare gun with you.
150 feet. Bastard. Can you use this? Well, stay where you are and hold on as best you can. Break 
breaking. She's breaking. Now we're left with only one little problem. Are we on reserve? Reserve? <laughs> reserve is for kittens! The calculated explosion had the predicted impact and the wave only reached an estimated height of 18 feet and therefore is no longer a danger. Through various canal silt is protected from flooding. Dr. Blands, there are two gentlemen from the district attorney's office here. Could you send them in, please? Well, you know, in situations like that, you can't be afraid. Every move has to be precise. Especially when you cry for your mommy. Here. I don't think I need this anymore. By the way, this is Sister Agnes. She's taking care of me. I'm sure you have to return to Brussels soon. Yeah, tomorrow. But only to drop off my report. After that, I'll be taking a long vacation. Well, I happen to know a nice hotel. Maybe a bit run down, but it's close to the dunes. Sounds a bit dangerous. Island is breathtaking. 